Hi everybody. So I have here an old projector lamp that was replaced on an Epson projector. And this bulb actually still works, um, but was getting very dim. Uh, so we replaced it and put a new one in. And this is the original Epson bulb that was replaced. And the model number on this is a P88. Or if you use the whole long model number, it's ELPLP88. So it's a 200 watt projector bulb, or a lamp as they call it. Uh, and these things get really, really hot during operation. So if you ever go to replace one of these, you really need to let it cool down before you go to remove it. Uh, so the replacement that we used was this part number from Amazon and this is the box it came in just a regular replacement bulb uh, but anyway today we're going to do a tear down on this and see what it looks like inside of this big casing uh, so just from a quick glance around it looks like there's a couple of small Phillips head screws uh, there appears to be four here that hold this main chassis together and then it looks like there's a couple of small plastic clips that might need to be pried away so that we can get into this and then I think this metal ring around the lens looks like that just pops off so so let's get to it got a whole bunch of little screwdrivers and see if these will work. Okay. Little pieces of screen coming out. Hmm. There's a little screen window with a little frame that holds it in. So I imagine this is directing airflow around the lamp. That's what it looks like. Let me pop this ring off next. My little small set of screwdrivers. definitely see the burning that took place this thing was extremely hot when we turned the projector off and it took a long time for it to cool down you can see it's even sort of singed this metal well, let's see if this comes out well, it looks like it might a little metal clip that holds it in place or does that just yeah it sure does Okay. Huh. Look at that. So this looks like a little piece of aluminum. Aluminum shielding. And this. Is it glass. Can't tell if this is glass or if it's plastic. Well, here's one way to find out. I have a feeling it's plastic. No, it can't be. It has to be glass. Plastic would melt. Yeah, this must be a piece of glass. Plus, it's not scratching. Yeah, this is definitely a glass lens. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then in there is the projector bulb. So it looks like the bulb, yep, it's right in the center of this big lens. And to get to it, I'm going to have to split this apart. So let's do that next. Not too bad so far. Just a couple little Phillips head screws. 
actually coming apart a lot easier than I thought it would. Yeah, look at that, we're right apart. So let's see what's in here. So plastic frame and yes, there is metal shielding obviously to protect it because look at the exposed areas. So it looks like anywhere that this metal was not protecting, this plastic just burned. Wow. And you can see it on the back here, how crispy it got. And this feels like it might be aluminum. No, that's steel. I'll have to get a magnet and check it. Let's see if I can find one. Here we go. Yep, that's steel. That's aluminum. Huh. That's also not steel. Not the screws are, of course. Nothing else. Oh, and this little clip is steel. Okay, anyway, here's the heart of it. Here's the plug connector. I'll try to get this out first. And there's the main power connector for the bulb. All right, there's like a little retainer right there. And one on the bottom. don't want this to accidentally cut me. I wonder if I can just push that down. Yep, that's easy. All right, cool. So, another metal frame. And this one's not magnetic. So some kind of an alloy. And this whole entire bulb, this whole lamp is glass. Ooh, and that's ceramic. Oh, that's cool. Wow, look at that. So it's one wire in, goes through the filament and then the wire comes right out. Huh, that's funny. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Usually I see the two electronic, the two wires going right into the bottom, but this one has it going in the bottom and out the top. That's interesting. Now, I don't think I can get this out without cracking it. Oh, that's all wrapped around there, too. What the heck? There's a wire wrapped around the bottom of this glass post. Hmm. I wonder if I can break this off. Yes, pieces of this stuff are crumbling away. Okay. I don't really want that to happen, but. All right, so there's the center of the glass post. I'm guessing. I wonder if I can chip this stuff away and get at it. Destroyers. Good at crumbling away ceramic bits or whatever this stuff is. All right, so we got it loose now. Oh man, this is a big mess. Oh, it's definitely loose. 
Okay, it's all loose now. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this wire here so that I can take this out the whole way. Let me get some snips. Snips. Okay, cool. So, here's the lens. What does that say there? Made in Philippines. And that's it. Nothing else. No other markings on it. Hmm. Okay. I don't need that anymore. So how does this wire go? Oh, that's weird. So there's the wire. I'm just going to say leaving. So I'm just, I don't know which way the power is actually flowing. So I'm going to say the, you know, just as a traditional bulb would be, I'm going to say the power is going in through the bottom and out through the top. So if this was the in, power in, this is the power out. So the power out is just connected only to the top part of this electrode. But this has a wire wrapped around it. I don't know why. What is that wire for? And it looks like it's tied in to the wire going in. And there's the center of the bulb. Yeah, it's probably like really impossible to see in the camera because it's really, really hard to see in real life. And I'll bet the reflections off of this are making it really hard to see on the camera. But it looks like right in this little center bulbous area that that's the, you know, the quote bulb area. And it actually looks like it's broken. But I don't know if it's supposed to have a connector in there or a filament or not. Um, I'm thinking with how bright these are that it might be like an arc type bulb where you're basically putting so much power on the one side that it arcs over to the other side and that's what lights it up. And then this wire, this wire being wrapped around it, I couldn't even begin to guess. I mean, maybe it has something to do with EMF or something to do with it has to have something to do with EMF. I mean, something to do with, I don't know. I don't know why it's there. I don't know what that's doing. Maybe this actually, is it shorted to the top? Is it normally connected like that? I wouldn't think so. I would think it's just kind of hanging out here, wrapped around it. Yeah, it's got to be doing something like that. I mean, unless somehow it's power is flowing also through this outside wire and then jumping back in. I don't know. So now I have a big mess, but it was worth it. That was a cool teardown. Uh, never took apart a projector lamp before. Uh, I guess the lamp is when it's a complete assembly and then the bulb is the part inside that's taken apart. And you got these, you know, the reflector, maybe that's what this is called. And this is obviously the lens. Um, but pretty interesting. A lot more parts in here than I thought there would be. Let's take this out real quick also. This feels like it's aluminum. Yeah. And then there's two retained screws here. I guess we can try to take these out real quick. I'm sure they'll just screw out. Push from the bottom. Yeah, a little bit tough, but they're coming out. Yep, there it is. Might as well take them both out. I've gone this far. Gone this far, I might as well finish. Okay. 
This sucks. There, much better. All right. I don't think there's anything else to take apart. Wow, this is a really complicated mold. Can't believe that was all done in one piece. Oh, there's a little screen in there. Not magnetic. Huh. This was also one piece. This was also done in one piece. Yeah. So, pretty cool, pretty interesting, and a fun little teardown project. So, pretty cool. Well, if you have any questions or any comments, post them below. And thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, please give a thumbs up and please subscribe.